My technique today is called polished stone, and polished stone is the background that you see here behind the embossed resist flowers, and the very background to this red card, which is kind of hard to see, and I'll show you the buildup actually on that one. These are polished stone backgrounds before they've been stamped on, and you can see no two will look alike, even though you use the same colors. Um, and let's see if you can get in there. You can see the gold and the effect that this has on the glossy cardstock. So starting with my glossy cardstock here, I'm going to take a Tissaneco metallic ink reinker, and I'm going to put dots of it all over this, but sparingly. Um, you don't want a puddle of this because this ink actually is not going to dry. So we need to work around that. I'm going to take a cotton ball. I'm going to take most of a cotton ball. I don't need the whole thing. And 91% rubbing alcohol. You want to get the highest content alcohol, rubbing alcohol, um, because the higher the alcohol content, the faster that this um, the rubbing alcohol will dry. This is the one one of the few times that alcohol and stamping does mix, and I don't normally like alcohol and my stamps to mix when you're playing with my things. I'm taking three complementary colors, a uh, Riding Hood Red, certainly Celery, and more Mustard for my background, and I'm going to start by pressing down on here. I'm just breaking up these dots of gold. Okay, you can see the alcohol works on that gold ink and and kind of causes it to separate anyway. I am going to go around, being careful not to, at any point, do anything other than dab that down. So I'm going to wait a second for this to set, and. Um, I like that vivid color. I am sopping up a tiny bit of that of the excess red in here to help it dry a little faster. And while this looks beautiful just the way it is, I want to get that stone effect by going back and actually seeming to ruin it by squeezing this cotton ball. And you can see the cotton ball is taking the gold and making it run and pulling, pushing the gold, I should say, to the outer edges. And so when you sop up the middle, you're, start, you're left with edges of gold. And this, I believe, gives it the uh, stony kind of look. And this is beautiful. This is really beautiful. So I'm going to lay this to the side because this is actually the kind of thing that uh, takes a few minutes to dry. It really doesn't take all that long. So let's see if I can grab one that is that has been done. Let's see if I can just kind of mat off some of that there. So I have a background that I did a few minutes ago. And the next thing I'm going to do is to take this background stamp called Gratuitous Graffiti and ink that with Riding Hood Red. And I love these big background stamps because they kind of get the job done real quickly for you. This is um, going to drop that down here. And of course, if you care, my fingers are a mess anyway. You can obviously cover that. I'm going to pick that up. And here you go. You have an instant grunge background. And then to that, I had actually embossed these gold hearts. So I don't know if you could see. I embossed gold hearts on there. Except that with the um, polished stone, you have to either spray seal this or wait until it completely dries to build it up. So that is the polished stone background technique. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.